Now, senior Congress leader and the former finance minister of India, Mr. P. Chidambaram, has taken a pot shot at the finance minister, Nirmala Sitaraman, saying, and I quote here, only a few days ago, the honorable finance minister said that inflation was not a quote-unquote wed-lettered priority for her. India's retail inflation surged to 7%. Food inflation is currently at 7.62%. If the honorable FM doesn't see the wed even now, we can only conclude that she does not represent the average middle class family in India, unquote. And I'm being joined by my colleague Samia, live on the broadcast. Samia, a very razor sharp attack coming a day after the retail inflation figures for the month of August were revealed. In fact, inflation has surged to 7% after falling flat for the last three months. What more are you picking up on this big attack by P. Chidambaram? And has there been any reaction from the BJP as yet? Well, of course, the BJP is going to defend its uh, home minister, saying that there has been higher rate of inflation when Chidambaram was the uh, finance minister. But having said that, of course, the finance minister has mounted attacks against Nirmala Sitara the first time around that he's spoken about inflation. A couple of days ago, we had tweeted once again as far as inflation is concerned and how the finance minister doesn't consider this to be a case which requires a let, uh, red letter to notice as far as inflation is concerned. He also had pointed out how the inflation in the country is right now beyond the tolerable uh, range as per the RBI. And remember, the Congress party is right now embarking upon uh, Harad Jodo Yatra from Kanyakumari to Kashmir on the issue of price rise and inflation. But uh, it's that it is going to be a pocket pinch for them. Something Rahul Gandhi has time and again mentioned that as far as the price rise are concerned, these are unprecedented times for the common man to bear it, especially in the post-COVID uh, uh, situation as far as the economy is concerned. But uh, the government of the day says it's only a transient phase and it's bound to get over very soon. But the Communist Party and the opposition are using as an uh, this as an opportunity to hit out at the government to say that's an absolute financial and economical mismanagement part of the government. And the finance minister has got like no roadmap or a plan ahead to try and counter this this inflation and it's eventually the common man who has to bear the brunt for it. But we have to wait and see how the government of the day tries to come up with any steps in that direction to try and curb the inflation because as of now, this has been 7.62 that the food inflation stands at which the Congress party and the opposition will be using against the government of the day. Absolutely, Samia. Thank you so much for joining us with all those big details and in fact continuing with the big political reactions coming in on the story. Now, once again, a case of complete what about tree. Speaking exclusively to Mirror Now's Ela, the national spokesperson for the BJP, R.P. Singh, has said that the inflation rate was much higher when in fact P. Chidambaram himself was the finance minister. Let's listen in to that reaction coming in. Sir, first of all, what do you have to say on the latest statement by the P. Chidambaram? Well, Mr. Chidambaram has probably forgotten what was the inflation rate when he was a uh, finance minister. The average, finish, uh, average uh, inflation rate was 10.4 in UP1 and UP2 put together. And we are much better than what they did. But yes, uh, inflation is a concern. To counter that, uh, the Prime Minister has ensured that the uh, food grain or the ration goes to the 80 crore people till the time we recovered from it. And we know that there was a crisis because of Corona and then followed by Ukraine and Russia war. Not only that, Kisan Saman Nidhi is another step towards that only, that we should ensure that uh, something is supplemented to the farmers also. And also the uh, Ayushman Bharat scheme, I was going through data, almost 24 lakh people have been benefited from Ayushman Bharat scheme. So all this put together is a package to give relief to the common man. Yes, this inflation is there, we, it has need to be tackled and then government is working on it and then be rest assured by another few days you will see the inflation rate uh, is going down.